Yes, hello, it's me again, Dr. Talking Hand, back for more behind the scenes stuff. <clears throat> so, I went thrifting and found some old uh, joysticks that came with a computer bundle. They don't seem to have any branding, so uh, no clue what these things are. They look quite generic. And as you can see, uh, they seem to be going into every machine of the time. It also says that it has a turbo switch, but uh, I guess they forgot mine. Mm, damn. So the first thing for me to do is clean this joystick up and, of course, see what's under the hood. That's the most interesting part. And this is exactly the reason why I cleaned the controllers. <laughs> Someone's been eating chocolate! Yucky! Disgusting! So here are my tools for the job. Uh, a toothbrush, definitely. So that I can get into the uh, harder to reach spots that I cannot get in with the cloth itself. And of course I need some cleaning agent, so I just have some... Uh, lemon stuff mixed with water. It's a good cocktail. And a screwdriver is also nice. Eh, <laughs> Botnik. So let's start by removing these screws so that I can separate all the plastic parts. It will make things way more easier to clean. I can get into all of the crevices. And you just cannot believe how much stuff there is inside these controllers. It is very yucky. Now that everything is nice and shiny, let's take a look at this thing. The trigger is quite funny. It's just two pieces of bent metal. They just close a circuit when you press the buttons. It doesn't matter which one. So the circuit board has no components at all. Uh, this is as basic as it gets. And all the buttons, including the directional button on the board, is also bent metal, so when you press it down, it will close a circuit. I guess the hardware does all the work here then. I guess it knows all the signals that are coming through these wires then, when you press, press a certain button down. And these wires are not even soldered into the board. <laughs> it's quite, quite ridiculous. And when I take a closer look at the where the turbo button was supposed to be, there is obviously something that was supposed to go there. Probably some kind of a chip that will cut the signal on and off repeatedly, uh, giving me that turbo function, but that does not exist right now. So this is a quite neat little device. Uh, I will put it back together and uh, I will test it out. So here it is. I'm going to use my master system to test this thing out because the master system controller only has two buttons. So uh, this should work fine on this one. And of course, Double Dragon is the best game to try this out with. Sega Wii. Yeah, the joystick is pretty crisp. It detects directions quite well. And going through the buttons reveal that all the buttons are just one button. That kinda makes sense. And suction cups, whoa, they work very well for their age, dang. Yeah, so this was just a quick glance at the joystick that I got. Uh, pretty neat. Alright, I have nothing else to show you. Uh, I'll go back and eat some chocolate. Okay, goodbye.